Marin Silk had voiced concern about how he might handle the pressure of his first Wimbledon final before it unraveled spectacularly. But even his nightmares surely could not have thrown up the possibility that the most memorable shot of the final would be of him sobbing into a towel with two medics and the tournament referee crouched at his feet. Wimbledon 2017, Roger Federer beats Morin. Silic to seal record eighth title, as it happened read more only Silic knows how much his tears were owing to the pain of a massive blister on his left foot and how much it was being overcome by the significance of the occasion and his inability to rise to it. But ironically, it took an outpouring of emotion to garner some support from a center court crowd wildly in favor of Roger Federer. The last time a Croatian had played in a Wimbledon final, when Goran Ivanisevic defeated Pat Rafter in 2001 there was a carnival atmosphere on center court with vast swaths of the crowd, wearing the country's red and white checked football shirt. The story of the wild card on the brink of a historic victory had the nation in raptures. But this time round the only narrative the crowd was interested in was Federer winning an eighth title here and becoming the oldest male Wimbledon champion in the open era, wearing beige sinos, red jackets and carrying eight pounds, fifty plastic tumblers of pims, those fortunate are rich enough to have secured a ticket filed into a packed center court. Polite applause ensued as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge settled into their green cushioned wicker chairs in the royal box. Roger Federer wins record 8th Wimbledon title against Marin Silic. Read more The photographers in the pit beside center court were briefly diverted by the presence of Chelsea manager Antonio Conte in the stand behind the baseline, with Nigel Farage two rows behind him.